Hi there folks, welcome back to Highest Gear Reviews. I'm Lou Thomas and I'd like to say thank you for joining me. Hey, if you do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me, it's down here in the corner. It takes me, like I said, about 10 hours to film these videos. It only takes about a second for you to hit that button and that way you kind of know when new vehicles are coming out, I can kind of get them to you as soon as I can. So today we got one, it isn't a 2021, it's a 2020, but I wanted to take a look at it because I've never actually taken a look at one of these. And this one here is the Chevrolet Bolt EV, and this particular one's the Premier. So that means that it has every option, it's fully loaded. Uh, some things you might not know about this one is it's completely electric, 100% electric vehicle, so a true plug-in uh. hybrid. Uh, has about a 200 horsepower, 150 kilowatt engine in it. Uh, that's good for about zero to 60 in about 6.9 seconds. Uh, top speed on it, although it sounds kind of funny, is actually about 90 miles per hour. But I mean, really, how fast are you really going to be going if you have one of these vehicles? It's kind of like a little urban vehicle, zipping around town, doing your daily chores, uh, commuting to work, that kind of stuff. I guess you could use it on a road trip. I mean, you know, I mean, 90 miles per hour is still, I mean, it's you know, way over the speed limit, right? So good to go. Uh, so great little car, front wheel drive. Uh, it does have the cool 17-inch wheels on this particular one since it's a luxury one. So yeah, so let's take a look at this 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV. Oh, so today we're in an area called Highlands Ranch, Colorado, actually Park Meadows, kind of a suburb of Denver. Reason I'm at a construction site, well, things are changing, right? Things are changing. 2035 is supposed to be all electric vehicles from GM. So this is kind of one of their earlier attempts, I guess you could say. Well, not really. The Volt was the earliest one. Then we have the Bolt. So kind of a cool styling on the front end of it. Nice headlights with the little daylight running lights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, cool color. This red is really kind of a neat color. Uh, like I said, it's got the cool little 17-inch wheels in it. The visibility inside is really good. I mean, there's a lot of glass in this vehicle, so it actually drives really nice. And it's kind of a fun little place to be in. And actually just a fun little vehicle to drive. So nicely lined. Uh, 2021 has had some changes to it. Mostly on the inside, they changed some of the headlights, uh, some of the uh, taillight design a little bit. Uh, right here is basically where your little charging panel is to plug in and charge your vehicle up. So uh, yeah, I think it's kind of a cool looking little vehicle. So as far as the interior in the uh, Bolt, it's actually kind of surprisingly a little bit bigger than you think it is. Uh, like I said, I'm about six foot four tall, fit in it perfectly fine. Uh, seat controls are pretty elementary. I mean, they're all kind of mechanical, uh, probably just to save a little bit of power on that kind of stuff as well. Uh, steering wheel feels nice, kind of a leather wrapped steering wheel, good size to it. Kind of a standard Chevrolet design. Buttons all over the place, of course, to do all different types of stuff. Uh, infotainment cinder, the uh, digital display is really nicely done. I mean, real crisp display. Uh, shows a lot of information. There's a lot going on in these little electric vehicles nowadays. Uh, driving position feels real good. Seats feel fine. Uh, they're kind of a leather appointed seats in this one. Has all your standard buttons on the door as far as uh, power windows, power door locks, uh, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. And a uh, little nice little shifter here. So uh, yeah, not too bad. I mean, I've got about probably about four feet of headroom. And uh, this is my normal driving position, so uh, not too bad at all. Uh, of course, you do have your tilt telescoping steering wheel as well, so uh, a lot of nice little touches. So as far as the interior in the uh, Chevy Bolt, pretty nice. I mean, the, uh, and a lot of plastic used around it. Obviously, this is kind of an EV vehicle, and they're trying to save as much weight, save as much money as possible. But it's kind of a cool design. It's like a, um, it's almost like a white carbon fiber look almost, I guess you could say. Like I said, nice steering wheel big center display uh, it's got a huge um, like a center console thing here it's like a 10 or 11 inch center console so pretty darn good uh, pretty responsive just hit the buttons go for all your different things that you want to do over to the audio system uh, back to the home system it's got a whole bunch of stuff as far as charging type stuff and all kinds of deal uh, pretty much your standard kind of uh, controls as far as heating and air conditioning. It does have a sport mode which really picks up the uh, performance. It's kind of shocking actually how kind of quick it is off the line. Uh, nice shifter. Uh, two cup holders there. Also a little USB, USB-C, auxiliary input, electric parking brake, all that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of a uh, 12 volt power supply under there. And uh, yeah, pretty nicely done, really. I mean, and like I said, the seats are pretty nice as far as the 2020. They did change them a little bit in the 2021. But uh, yeah, pretty darn nice seats, uh, leather appointed as well. Little center console here. 
And let's see here, that kind of slides back and opens up and you get your fingers in here. And you can adjust it as well, sliding it forward to where you want it. So uh, yeah, not too bad. So as far as rear seat, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, this is my normal driving position for the front seat. So as I sit back here, uh, yeah, I fit. That's kind of what I'm surprised about. Uh, doesn't have any kind of holders here for anything. Uh, there are a couple of cup holders here, uh, two US USBs back here. So pretty utilitarian, but uh, yeah, has some stuff. Has a little, actually has uh, seat heaters. That's kind of a surprise back here. So uh, I actually do fit. My headroom is just, just barely in there. So uh, yeah, six foot four, six foot four. It's kind of surprising. So as far as cargo room in the back of your Chevy Bolt, uh, basically just press the button here. Trunk opens up, hydraulic assist, of course. Uh, it's actually pretty darn deep back here. I mean, there's a lot of room in here. Uh, underneath here is a spare tire, obviously. Uh, pretty good room back here. This is kind of a little privacy shelf deal right here. Uh, you can also kind of pop these off. Uh, this kind of gets out of the way eventually. You just push these seats forward. Boom. Now you've got a whole bunch of room back there. So, uh, yeah, surprisingly quite a bit of room to tell you the truth. So as far as the engine goes in the Chevy Bolt, uh, it's in there. Uh, no one really knows what all this stuff does, except for the engineers that designed it, I believe. Uh, all I do know is that the orange wires are electrical and the other ones are electrical as well. But I guess the orange ones are just a little bit more electrical. So be careful. Anyway, 200 horsepower, uh, high voltage engine. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a neat little setup, you know? I mean, uh, it's just, this is where we're going with cars, so may as well start getting used to it. So as far as driving impressions of the uh, Chevy Bolt, it's actually a fun little vehicle to drive. I've never really driven one of these fully electric vehicles unless you count the golf cart or the uh, local golf course, but uh, it's actually surprisingly a fun little vehicle to drive. Uh, of course, incredibly quiet. I mean, there's just no noise at all, really, as far as any kind of mechanical noises from the vehicle. Um, peppiness is very peppy. I mean, it's it's kind of a lot of fun, really. I mean, it's you get that instantaneous talk, and you're just boom gone, and uh, so quiet, and it's so deceptive as far as its uh, speed. And uh, I can actually lead you into a little bit of trouble because I mean, before you know it, you're doing that top speed of 90 miles per hour. And it gets there so fast and so effortlessly that you don't even know that you're doing it. Um, as far as steering goes, it feels great. It's very, uh, uh, it's a, it's a very fast responding steering. Of course, it's a really short wheelbase vehicle, so uh, I mean it's going to kind of you know really zip you around the con uh, corners really quickly. Uh, suspension feels good. I mean you know kind of taut. Uh, as far as the steering goes, I guess it would be a little bit. Just a wee bit jittery, I guess you could say. It's just so fast to respond. Uh, it's just a matter of kind of getting used to it, I think, though, as well, because, I mean, everything in it, of course, is electrical. So, I mean, it's just instantaneous responses to your inputs. Uh, it does have kind of the regeneration system as well, as far as um, battery life and all that kind of stuff goes. Uh, this one's, uh, I've driven it today uh, probably about 50 miles or so, and I think I had about a probably a little bit more than a half charge in it or more than a half charge but uh we've got about 154 miles to go so uh, not too bad at all uh infotainment center is really nice changed a little bit on the 2021 but the 2020 looks great i mean nice clear display everything looks nice stereo is really good this one has the bose system in it and i uh, have the sport button here so we'll press that and see how it goes of course it is front wheel drive so you'll probably break traction pretty easily but yeah here we go Whoop. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, we just left that Jeep in the dust. Holy moly. So, uh, of course, that's not saying much. It's a Jeep Wrangler, but let's go around this corner. Yeah, feels great. Oh, hello. 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 Okay. A little bit of wheel slip there, but yeah, that yeah, it gets going. All righty. Here we are at another traffic light here. So, I've, I kind of picture this is what you'd be using this vehicle for, right? Kind of urban driving, zipping around to the grocery store, going to the yoga classes or whatever else you're going to and you know all that kind of stuff and off we go full throttle whoop here, here we go full power nice 
And there we go, 60 miles per hour. So, no, nah, it's not too shabby at all. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun.